Happy Tuesday, everyone. It is Tuesday, and that means it is time for... Some pirate science. Oh, yes. The best show of the week, in my piratey opinion. <laughs> Miguel. Hey, Miguel. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome aboard. And Alice says, Captain... Yes, Alice, what can I do for you? Harper and Austin, how are you guys doing? New faces today. It's good to have everyone here. Well, check this out. I still got, what do you think? I, I tried to eat some of this yesterday. And there's still so much, so much candy. Oh. What am I going to do with all this candy? You know? I just don't know. I guess I'm going to have to, like, um, eat some of it tonight while I watch the election results come in. I think that depending on how the elections go, I might eat more or less of this candy tonight. Mm. Delicious. It's too bad you guys are not here because I just have so much candy that I, it would be really useful if you could help me eat some of it, you know? But you're not here, you know? So I guess I'm just going to have to eat all of it by myself, you know? It's too bad. Well, oh, Alice says I'm only allowed to eat five pieces of all of yours? Like forever? Only five pieces ever? Or like five pieces per day or per week or something? Kaylin says, give it to me. Ho, 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 ho. You know I would. I really would. But alas, I, I'm. we are not in school. I would give you all the candies. But here we are. Miguel says he has a bag full. Only five per Halloween. Alice, that is, that means, you know what it means? It means you are going to have very strong teeth, which is very important. So I'm glad you're going to have some strong teeth. Okay, guys, we have a super awesome show for you today. Um, we're going to talk about knots. Knots. Um, not, not, N-O-T, not, K-N-O, uh, K-N-O-T, not, as in, we have two pieces of rope, or pirate hat, and we tie them into a knot. So, knots were super important to pirates and all sailors because that is how they they uh, held their sails in place. They used knots to hold boats to the docks, just all kinds of really important, you know, hold their riggings together, hold their, their um, hold the uh, cargo down in place, you know, because the sea tips all around the place, right? So they have to hold all their stuff down. So knots were very important. And I have learned that there are just tons of different kinds of knots. Reagan says, no, don't give it to Galen. Give it to a doctor or firefighter or police. Hmm. That would be very useful. I am unaware of any like candy-based um, tax write-offs though. So I don't know if that's going to really be the way I go, but good suggestion. Um, oh, look, Principal Michelle has said, hey, Captain Richard and crew had to come to Pirate Science today. Very good, Cap uh, very good, Admiral Michelle. You will uh, hope we learn a little bit about knots together today. Okay, so let's get going. Um, we have a number of things we're gonna do today. Uh, let's take a look at our learning targets. Number one, I can tie a knot. 
This is a very important and useful skill, whether you're gonna be a pirate or you are going to be a person. So both of those, if you are a pirate or if you're a person, you need to be able to tie some knots. If you are a robot, probably don't need to know how to tie knots unless you are a robot that ties knots, then you need to know how to tie a knot. And number two, I can tie my shoes. So that is like a very specific and useful kind of knot tying that we wanna make sure you can do. Um, we're gonna learn about some different kinds of things. We're going to use some grass to practice making some rope. Um, this is like, and the way you make rope is actually with knots. Something I learned. We are also going to, I brought a sneaker with a hole in it and some shoelaces. We're going to practice tying some, uh, practice tying a shoe, okay? And then I also have this super cool handy box of knots, useful knots for every situation indoors and out. So we're going to unbox this today, this handy box of knots. We'll open it up, we'll see what's inside, and spoiler, it's probably gonna be some knots. We can already see that there's some rope here. I'm excited to see what is inside this box of knots. If you want to get a handy box of knots, I have put the link to this box in the description of this video. So you can, uh, it's like on Barnes and Noble, it's a couple dollars. Uh, Reagan says, hi, Michelle. No, no, Captain Michelle, I am your humble servant. Oh, be careful. She might hold you to that and then you will be sailing with her to wherever she wants. All right, let's get going. Let's, let me switch over to my dual cameras here. Okay, so here is our, let me make this a little, there we go better yes okay and we're going to do something that i learned a while ago um how to make a little bit of rope from grass i'm not going to spend too long on this um and yes the dueling cameras that's right <laughs> okay so um we're going to make a little bit of rope and it's going to be very tiny, very tiny, because this process was like the first way that ancient humans made rope. And uh, it takes a very long time. You know, if you were an ancient human, you would have to have amazing amount of patience because everything, every, every kind of crafting I've learned to do from ye old ancient times always takes a really, really long time. Now, I haven't done this in quite some time, so not, you know, and if you've been a fan of the channel, you know that success never guaranteed, but what is guaranteed is that we will learn something. So what we need to do is we need to take some grass and we are going to need to kind of tape it down to the table. Okay. So we want to kind of like even it out some and spread it out like this. Okay. And we're going to, let me see if I can get this looking right here. I'm making a good mess, which is always a good sign we're learning something. And we're going to tape it down to the table. I have some uh, uh, masking tape here. And if the masking tape doesn't work well, well, I have some duct tape. And if that doesn't work well, then, well, we're just gonna go on to the next, <laughs> the next part of the lesson, okay? Tyler, how 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 your day? You know my day, good. <laughs> Richard is second in command. Yes, I know. You know that is a good lesson in life, is that there you know, there's always someone who is in charge of you. Unless you are an ancient person and you're making rope. Then the only thing you need to worry about are the, the lions and the bears and things like that. So we're gonna take some masking tape and we're going to tape down our grass. And we're gonna hope that it stays down like that. 
Now, the last time I did this was in Iowa, and Iowa has really long grass, grass that will grow higher than your head. Um, this was the longest grass. I walked all around my block and looked at various empty lots, and this is the longest grass I could find. So, uh, you know, out here in the desert, we just have different kinds of vegetation and things like that. So we're going to try to tape all this grass down. And it is actually a bit of a braiding process. What you do is, and you can try this at home, um, you scoop up some of the grass like this, right? You get like about this much, right? Just a couple blades of grass. And what you do is you twist it together, right? So we're twisting it. I'm going this way and you twist and you twist and you twist so that the grass, see, it starts kind of like becoming um, twisted together like this, see? You keep twisting. And you just kind of hold that. This is, this is the tricky part. You have to do this twice. So you hold that so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you pick up a couple more blades of grass next to this, this like a little bit of thread you've started here. And you have to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to just transfer this hands because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to grab this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start twisting some grass together, okay? Twist, 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 twist. See? Five pieces of candy. That's right. That is, you know, that is a little sad. But you know what is also sad? Having all of your teeth fall out by the time you're captain's age. So it's important that you don't eat too much candy. Okay, so now that I have these two twisted kind of little pieces of uh, string together, what you do is you're gonna twist these together. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist them in the opposite direction that you twisted the pieces of grass. So twist, and then you roll the grasses in your finger some more and then you twist those together. This is kind of, this is really hard for me to show. <laughs> okay, and you pull it tight, and that is the kind of knot that you do. This is a, so twist in one direction, and then wrap in the opposite direction. So see, I'm kind of making this braid of grass down here like this. It is the tension of the two, of, of all the grasses together that ends up making rope. So twist, 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 and then weave together, okay? Twist, 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 weave together. Come on. Okay, so I don't know, can, can we see? See how this is braiding together? This is kind of, this is making our rope, okay? Now, what you'd want to do is once you have one of these done, you know, it's really nice and long, you're going to make another one over here. And then when you have two of these, what do you think you do with it? Hmm? What do you think you do? You twist it all together again. Everyone calm down. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm busy twisting. What are you talking about? Cameras. We're talking about cameras? Okay. So this is how we make, this is how, let me just kind of like rip this out here. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, so this is right here, the beginning of ancient rope. And the tension together makes the grass much stronger. Okay? Harder to pull apart because it is all woven together. Okay, so that is how that is how the first kinds of rope were made. All right. And then of course, once we have rope, we can start making some cool knots. Okay. Let's go over some basic knots before we rip open that book and see what's inside. First, who here can tie their shoes? by themselves. 
who can tie their shoes all by themselves? Austin, can you tie your shoe by yourself? Micah says he can. There are different kinds of ways of tying your shoe. Um, let's go over two of the easy ways. Alice says she can, and Harper, Sky, Sky says me, me, Sky. Can you tie your shoes? And I don't mean tie your shoes together. I mean tie them in a little bow so that the laces don't fly all over the place. And then when you're walking up your stairs, Captain Richard doesn't have to say, "Hey, excuse me, Emma, your shoes are untied." Okay, don't want to trip. That's, you know, that's what the today's learning target should be. It should be, I can have strong teeth and I cannot trip on my shoes. All right, let's take a look at how we tie our shoes. Okay. Can we zoom this out a little bit more? No, this is far out what we're going to get. Okay, guys, best we can do. Here we go. So. The first thing that I do is I tie a basic, um, a basic knot. And you know what? I don't know what the name of this kind of um, basic loop knot is, uh, but I have a feeling that it's going to be covered in our handy box of knots. So we will learn it in a second. Um, trainer says my real name is Jude. Hey Jude. Um. Okay, so the first thing I do is I tie a basic, basic little loop knot. So I take both ends and I am going to cross one of them and then the other knot, the other end goes down below, okay? So we make this little loop, right? Does this look familiar? Boop, okay? Now the super easy way to tie your shoes is to make one of these here knots and then to do what I think is called rabbit ears, right? Now this is not how I tie my shoes, so watch me mess it up. Yes, Jude, what grade are you in? So you make one little loop with one end and you take the other string and you make another loop. And the reason they call this rabbit ears is because look, boink, 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 boink like rabbit ears, like something you'd wear on top of your head for Halloween. And then you just tie these loops in a knot, just like you did this first knot down here. So you pass, you cross them, you take one of the loops and you duck it through the hole you've made, and then you pull the whole thing tight, okay? So real quick. Reagan says she is in fourth. Reagan, we knew this. Jude says fifth. Oh, welcome aboard there, Mr. Jude. Okay. One more time, rabbit ears. Okay. We cross and we loop under to for our standard knot, right? Pull that tight. And then rabbit ears. One. Two, cross, under, and pull, okay? So this is our super simple way of tying, tying our shoes. Then you can run around and you will not trip, you will not fall, you can have a good recess. Why make tying shoes hard? Is it good? Is it good? Well, because you can tie different knots that not all knots are the same. Some knots come undone easier than other knots. We're going to kind of learn that today. Uh, this is the knot that I do. Um, I do a standard little loop knot here like this. Pull that, pull that tight. Then I make a loop with one. See it like this? And the other, I take half of it scoop my camera around here and I wrap it around like this 
and then I push this part of it down through. See? Take that piece, take the top, and pull. See? That makes tied shoes. And then if you really want it, you can do a rabbit ears loop on top of that. This is a double tied. That will really make sure your knots, your this is this big fat chunk of knot, two knots on top of each other. Make sure that your shoes don't come undone while you're running around. So that's why different knots have different kinds of strengths. They're useful in different kinds of ways. And we're going to unbox our handy box of knots. And we're going to find out, we're going to learn a little bit about knots, okay? Reagan says, no, I'm in fourth. I think we knew that because you were in Laura's class. You were in Laura's class last year, Reagan. And now you are in, whose, whose class are you in now? Dagger got a new dog. That is the best. Getting dogs are the best. What kind of dog did you get? All right, let's take a look at this handy box of knots. So here's the plan. We're going to take a look in this handy box of knots. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to watch a cool video about mathematical knots. They're super cool. I didn't know there was a math about knot tying. Although, you know what? I should have because honestly, there is a math about everything. So... Austin is in third grade. Is Michelle here? I think she is here. She is probably being very busy. Okay, so here we go. Reagan says, I'm in Nicole's class. Yes, that is awesome. You know what? My classroom will share a wall with Nicole's class. So when you hear all kinds of hammering and sawing and you're like, oh my goodness, it's so loud, you'll know it's Captain doing crazy STEM stuff. All right, let's unbox this handy box of knots. Let's take a look. The handy box of knots. Useful knots for every situation, indoors and out. And there is some rope in here, which I am excited to look at. Rope and handy book inside. Oh, how cool. Um, here are some of the knots. Oh, look. That's that really basic loop knot I said. I hope we learned the name of it. And look at that guy. And look at that guy. And look at that is a figure eight knot. I know that from rock climbing. And this is a square knot. I know that from Boy Scouts. <laughs> so look at all these different guys. All right. So they all have different kinds of uses. This is a pretty cool box. Like I said, I put this up on uh, our, let me see if I can pull it up here. Where is it? Here it is, Barnes & Noble. So I put it in the channel description. So if you are watching this and you are like, oh my goodness, I really want this cool box of knots because it is a super cool book. Here it is. I put it on. Here it is. I put it. Uh, there's a link in the description. It is $11. And would make a super awesome Christmas gift. Or a birthday present. Or a um, I want to learn how to tie knots kind of a present. Okay. Okay back to unboxing this thing. So um, it slides out. Ooh, oh, handy book inside. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, how does this open up? Okay, so the whole top comes up and oh. <laughs> the handy book of knots. So we had handy box of knots and this is stuck in there. 
It like just fits. Come on. There we go. So inside the handy box of knots is the handy book of knots. Who would have thought? Brilliant. All right, let me put this box over here. And now here is our rope. Let's get to our prize here. Um, a little bit of plastic box here. Open this up. Now I want to show you something about this rope. So they've given us, oh, all kinds of different rope. Look at all these different kinds of rope. All right. So they have given us three of this size rope and then one really big rope. So I want to take a look. Take a look. Look at this rope. You see how it's twisted around? Right? Just like the grass we twisted. This is made of probably nylon, but rope is made the same way from like ancient times. Instead of using grass, they use nylon here. But you can see inside, if we untwist, we have different layers of rope. And then if we take this piece and untwist, you can see these are all little different small. Here, can we get this on camera here? Little tiny fibers of rope. See? Little tiny fibers. See? Now, all these little tiny fibers of nylon, they just get twisted together. And then you take the big ones. And so we have three here, one, two, three. And then we twist all that together and we make big pieces of rope like this. Okay? So that is how, you know, from ancient humans to um, box of knots from Barnes and Noble. It's the same, same one. Okay. Um, been do I'm going to be doing some sculpting soon. Awesome. Okay. No one be mean to cap. Yeah, no one be mean to anyone. All right. Go into art. It's true. 130 art class. All right. Let's go into uh, this book of art. <laughs> book of art. <laughs> Let's go into our, our book of knots. Let's just see what we have in here. I like to try to... Okay. Whoa. Okay. So here is the table of contents. Oh, I've lost my... There we are. Table of contents. This shows you on what page all the different knots are. Look at all these knots that we can learn. Look at all these knots. So many knots. Oh, a surgeon's knot. That's like for tying up little stitchings, I guess, huh? So many different knots. Top 10 reasons to learn for learning to tie knots. Knotting will help you in endeavors you already enjoy. If you are an avid camper, you'll find setting up camp a lot easier once you have knotting skills. So here we go. Let's just kind of skip forward here to find some knots. I want to know what the very first knot they cover is. All about rope and twine. So they're giving us some history here. Oh, look, it's talking about how ropes are braided together, right? Just like we were learning. Just like we were learning. Fibers, stiff and soft, synthetic ropes, right? Okay, let's go. I want to find the very, let's find the very first knot. That's what I want to know. What do they think is the easiest knot? Oh, look at this. Parts of a rope. The bite. The standing part, the running end, a loop and crossing turn. How interesting. Pull. <laughs> okay, let's see. The spine. All these different kinds of names for what's in this book. 
Okay, stopper knots. Here we go. What is our first knot here? Oh, multi-stranded knots. Come on. Here it is. This is it. We found it. We found the name of the knot. Well, you make a loop and then pass the end through. This is called overhand knot. There we go. I was wondering what it was called. So let's tie, let's tie an overhand knot. So super easy knot. Let me get some of our rope here and unwrap it. Open it up. Oh my goodness. You know what? I brought some scissors just in case this was going to happen. Chimikin. Okay. Micah, I sent you my project on Scratch. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. So I will, we will, I will take a look at that and we will cover it uh, at the very least on next Monday with Coding with Captain. Okay. So I cut this rope open. Here we are. So let us do an overhand knot. Let's take a look real quick at it again. Here it is. So we make a loop and then pass the end through the loop, right? This knot has several names. You may hear it called a simple overhand knot. You will use thread or another small cordage to tie this knot. It is called the thumb knot. Hmm. When tied with two cords, as when you're starting with a shoelace, right? Just like, I mean, we use it to start shoelaces, right? Oh, when, okay. When tied with two cords, as when you are starting tying shoes, it is called the half knot. So when we start tying shoes, we start with a half knot. There we go. All right. Okay. So it is the foundation for many different knots. So the most simple knot also is the basis for many knots. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rope. We are going to make a loop, right? There we are. There is our loop. Okay. Just like in the picture, right? And I'm going to take my end and I'm going to stick it through the loop like this. And then we are going to pull it tight. And there we are. This is our overhand knot. Backwards, but there we are. See, just like in the picture here. Okay. All right. We are running out of time today. There is one last thing I would like to show you. And this is a super cool video that I found. It talks about the mathematical realities of a loop and knot tying. Now this is something that I did not know and I um, just learned uh, a couple days ago when I was doing some research about knots. So here is, let's go to Chrome. Oh yes, here we are. Okay, and let's go to this video. What is a knot? Now I have linked this video in the description below. So you can watch the whole thing. We're only gonna watch like the first three minutes of it. But I think it is really interesting uh, the way this guy talks about knots. Now, at first it's a little like, oh my goodness, what is he talking about? But listen and wait for the rubber band example. It's like, it's pretty interesting, okay? Here we go. So here's a challenge for you. What about this sequence? Zero, zero, one, one, two, three, seven, 21, 49. What's the next number? I'm going to go 73. No. I'm just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And you know, if any ordinary person would have no clue. This seemed like a totally vacuous series. And I tell you, it's 165. Says, why on earth is it 165? This is the number of different mathematical knots with a given crossing number. Basically, it means there are no mathematical knots with one crossing or two crossing. There's
Okay, for some reason, is the video doesn't seem to be, I've lost my mouse. What is going on? Okay, you know what? I've lost my mouse. <laughs> I doesn't seem to be playing the video. So we are going to abandon that. There we go. Okay, my mouse is back. All right, so I don't, was, was the video playing for you guys? It didn't look like it was playing. I mean, I could see it on my Chrome, but it didn't look like it was playing on the stream. No, couldn't see. Okay. Well, never mind then. I, I'll tell you what, we will, on the fireside chat, I will download it and play it on the stream so that it definitely works, okay? Um, yes, yes, no, sus. Ugh. Guys, okay? So I'll download it and make sure it totally works on a fireside chat on Thursday. Um, but let's not, if it's definitely, it seems like, it might be working or not working. I don't know. Okay, so today we talked about some knots. I can tie a knot. What I want you to do is go find some grass. Twist, 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 twist. Okay? Make some strong grass by twisting it together. And then make a couple of these. Make a couple of these and then twist them together. Make some first person rope. Okay? First person, not first person point of view, like a game. First person as in the first persons made these kinds of rope. All right? And I can tie my shoes. If you are a I don't tie my shoes kind of person, I hope today you um, took it on yourself to say, you know what? It's time for me to start practicing how to tie your shoes. And you know, it takes practice. All these things take practice. Making rope from grass, making knots from rope, always practice, okay? All right, guys, let's see. Play Among Us. You know what? I have not tried Among Us. Um, that is uh, not a game I haven't, I've been, <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I will. Um, maybe one Friday instead of Minecraft, we'll all play Among Us. Way less educational, but I, I keep getting demands for it. So maybe we'll spend one day doing it. Uh, perfect. Oh, Michelle says, perfect. Thanks, Captain. Bon voyage. Uh, okay, guys, that is it for me today. I hope that you all, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, ah, <laughs> not that. Tomorrow is what? Wednesday. Let's make her it. We're going to be soldering on some, uh, continuing our soldering. We'll solder some buttons. We're going to solder on the um, Arduino, and we're going to start laying out some of the wire work. So check that out tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Nope. 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 Yep.